Okay. All right. So I'm going to uh, show how to uh, install this uh, Canon downrigger lock uh, onto this. Uh, uh, I don't know what to call mount. Um, so I bought this, and uh, well, first of all, I didn't know uh, if this is the type of lock that is to fit uh, this uh, uh, base, and uh, it, it is, but it took me a while to figure that out. And also, the other thing is the instruction for this is uh, just incredibly difficult to follow. I mean, you can probably read carefully, but it's just one you know step with a really bad uh, print. So, and I tried to look for how to assemble in you know, YouTube and I just couldn't find. So this is actually my second base. I struggled the first one and uh, I learned a lesson. There are certain things that you really want to avoid uh, because you can, you can run into really nasty uh, situation. So I'm going to uh, kind of show you uh, what's the, you know, how you can assemble this. So first thing you want to do is to uh, get this cylinder and then uh, also, I will just uh, uh, assemble these two pieces. Um, it will only go one way, so if you just keep doing, it will just, uh, there's just only one proper way to get to uh, fit these together. And then uh, you don't, uh, this is not you know, to finish, but just, you know, put some, uh, uh, put it um, temporarily. And the purpose of this is to uh, really uh, make sure that uh, which um, sort of orientation you want to insert this cylinder. Because once you insert this cylinder, it's really difficult to pull it out uh, because of the way, you know, you have like threads. Also, there is like no, nothing to pull. So uh, that's the first thing. So once you uh, put the keys into it, then you try to kind of play with this and then you want to get the action for uh, say 9 o'clock and 12 9 12 okay so it has only like 45 degrees uh, range of motion then what how this is going to work is okay this plate is going to be going uh, it will be going inside of this slot so when it goes inside then it's gonna stick out from this part so that's how the lock uh, is gonna be engaged okay so what you want to do is to uh, let's see what's the best way uh, all right so let's say if I put it here like this then uh, yeah you want to get the side part of it uh, let's see Okay, so that's the proper action. So uh, this is not engaged and then engaged. Not engaged, engaged. So you kind of want to remember, put it in the engaged state and then just remember sort of like orientation. Okay, so that's how it should go in. Okay. All right, then uh, I hold it and then uh, put this one off, get this one off, and then you're gonna slide this. Now this is another part, you do not want to push all the way because then you're gonna be in the trouble because this is really hard to pull it out. So what you wanna do is, I don't know, make sure that it just doesn't go all the way through. So maybe, you know, I don't know, you can just use something to make sure that it would probably go like this much so there is some still room for the slots to uh, uh, allow you to put other parts because now you're gonna have to put a total of three pieces of um, parts three parts into this cylinder so first thing is you want to get this uh, uh, ring thing and then you want to just uh, get that going just as soon as it's engaged that's good enough then the second part you want to put is this uh, little metal part 
Now, I stop this one at the engaged location, so it should be going inside. So it's gonna look like sticking out. Okay, then uh, from here, you can probably push just a little bit forward, but not too much, okay? And then if you have a little bit of, you know, uh, threads, like maybe three or four threads, uh, you know, above that plate, then you can put this washer thing. Uh, I don't think this, this has any direction. So you put the washer, then you're gonna push a little bit again, but not all the way through, okay? Then last piece is this nut. So you put this one again um, until it catches the thread, which it did. Okay. Now, once you get here, then now you're gonna be just pushing this entire thing uh, to you know uh, go in, and then you try to get this uh, last. Uh, this part flush against the body. So now um, you will just turn this ring and then make sure these things stay. And then you push again a little bit here. Just go little by little. Now this part and cylinder might be really difficult to uh, move. Uh, so I don't know, maybe you, you may want to file the uh, inside. Uh, I didn't have to do it because, you know, I had to pull it out and push so many times that it kind of, you know, uh, made it easy to go in. But anyway, so keep going, keep going like this. Okay, I think now this part is pretty much in the final position. And then you want to get this thing to be tightened up. Uh, okay, I mean, you could hunt tighten, but maybe last a few. Um, uh, rotation may be done with, you know, something. Okay, so now that's pretty good. And then again, this last part, maybe you want to use a tool to tighten. Okay. So now washer is uh, being, you know, pressed against each other, so it's not going anywhere. Okay, so now test and make sure that this thing, the little plate shows up. This is locked, unlock. Okay, and then when you install, you start, you wanna start with unlocked position. So this is uh, the end of the process. Okay, that's it.